Hello, my name is Michael Kipp and this is a quick overview of the Anvil tool. Anvil is a tool for video annotation and when you start it you see this main window, very small one, and it says just welcome to Anvil and shows you the version number. Uh, and a good thing to do if you're not familiar with Anvil is to look at the online documentation by clicking this green question mark. The online documentation is here and it'll give you a quick start guide, an overview of features with links. If you want to know more about track types, you just click here and it'll give you some information on track types. Okay, well for now we just want to start with an example annotation and we click on this open icon here and what do an anvil actually to start an annotation is to open a video file. Since it's a video annotation tool, you open a video file and I have prepared one here. It's um, MOF, so it's a QuickTime format video file. I open it and now what happens is Anvil is prepared to to let you annotate a video file, but for that to happen you have to specify first of all your name, right? So I'm Michael Kipp and your annotation scheme or coding scheme and I want to choose one from um, the distribution of Anvil so if you install Anvil you will see um, you will see a directory like this one where you have a subdirectory called spec and here you have some example coding schemes and let me just open example step 3 that's a coding scheme so we specify this here, coder name, coding scheme, and we can do some comment and we click OK. And now Anvil has opened the video with a fresh and empty annotation board that you see down here. Um, and if we press this play button, Anvil will start playing the video. OK. So on this annotation board, we see. Um, you know, a, a, a red line that indicates the position, the current position in the video, as you can see. And you also have a green line that you can actually place where the red line is located by right clicking and saying start. Okay? And now you have a green line. And actually, the green line is supposed to mark the beginning of a new element that you want to add. And you can actually also use the key 1 on a Mac or F1 on a Windows PC uh, to place the green line where the red line is located. So I press 1 here, press 1, and the idea is that, well, if you look at the video and you want to, you know, let's say you want to, um, you know, you see the mouth opening here, you want to annotate that, you just start here maybe and you place the green line here and you look for the mouth opening and it closes again so let's say this is the element you want to annotate this stretch um, of video right where the pink part is um, indicated and now you can right click and select create or create edit to create a new element if you say create you know, Anvil will just place a new element here without asking you further questions. If you select Create Edit, Anvil will not only create the element but also ask you for the content. So let's say, you know, let's call this just mouth and you can enter a freeform comment here as well. You can also play back the, you know, the element that is currently being annotated. And then if you're satisfied with the content, you click OK. And as you can see here, um, some of the content that you annotated will appear as a label on the box that has appeared here and the small rectangle here indicates that you have a comment attached to it. You can also see it here in this upper right window. Here you see the contents of this element and here you see the comment and since this is non-empty you see this small re um, square here as a flag. Okay, so now we have added two elements and let me also give you the keyboard shortcuts. With one, you position the green line. With two, you create new elements. So you can really very quickly create new elements. And if you select three, it will do the create and edit, 
right? And it places the uh, last value here. So three is create and edit, and you click OK. And so it's this easy to create new elements. And now you see here that the current annotation has been modified. If you click on Save here on the Save icon, it'll ask you to specify a name. You know, I just call it, um, you know, AN, and I save it, and it will create a file called, you see it here, AN.anvil. So the .anvil file is actually what you see here, right? It's not the coding scheme. The coding scheme is a separate file. That's called example step three. So, so let's just stop here. Um, so I've shown you how to uh, create a new annotation by opening a video and telling Anvil which specification you want to work on. And yeah, we'll continue in the next video. See you.